Bob? Bob? What's wrong with you now, buddy? You need a brain transplant? Well, I would donate mine, but I don't think you're ready for this one. So I'm just gonna have to give you someone else's. Welcome back, guys, to Surgeon Simulator, where today we're purport, performing a brain transplant on little Bob here. Let's click the button and let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Oh my goodness, Bob. Bob, it upsets me to see you like this, buddy. And there's a brain in a jar. <laughs> what? I can't even remember how to play this game. Bob. Oh my goodness. Can I make you wear this? This would be actually the highlight of my year. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And drop it. Oh, so close. But yeah, today we are performing brain surgery on Bob. So my sleeves, I was going to roll them up, but they're already rolled up. I just punched myself in the face. Let's do this. I need to, um, I need to crack this cranium and there's an axe there. So let's do it. Just going to grab this and, you know, throw it down there because we don't need it at all. The nurse can pick that up later. We also need, uh, this tomahawk pretty much. So let's grab this and I guess just take a big swish. Here we go. Oh, duh, duh. It's working. It's definitely working. Oh, jeez. I just got you in the eye. I'm sorry, Bob. You don't need new eyes just yet, do you? Wait, can I just put my axe here and do this? Yeah, that seems a little bit more productive. There we go. Perfect. Did I just kill him instantly? Oh, my goodness. That has got to be the quickest time anyone has ever killed Bob. I just, <laughs> I just swung an axe into his brain. My goodness. I'm so sorry. Kind of. Okay, this time, no messing around. I'm just going to give it a little uh, rub. Lucky rub. That's what I like to call it. And let's do this properly, shall we? Have we got the drill available, anyone? Nurse? Nurse, we got the drill. Oh, we certainly do. This has always proved to be uh, pretty painful, but very, very efficient, Bob. So don't worry. You're going to be in, um, you know, safe-ish hands. It's going to be fine. <laughs> All right, let's go in from the front and zip. There we go. And zip. There we go. Okay, this is going well, guys. This is actually going really, really well. Oh, jeez, he's almost dead. Why are you almost dead, Bob? I need uh, this green one. Quick, 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 quick. I need to stab him in the face with this. Grab it! Oh, my goodness, I've got the hammer instead. He's dead. I've killed him twice already in, like, two minutes. Are you kidding me? Bob, I'm so sorry. Oh, what's this? What is that? A laser? I need to try that out. Okay, so I'm guessing this has a lot less steps, but it's very, very treacherous, so... Let's grab ourselves this. A brand new toy. I'm not sure we've seen it before. I'm going to yank it into position. Lose my watch. And yeah, this is, a, this is a laser, guys. Let's see what happens when we laser off his brain. Is it working? I think it's working. This is actually pretty efficient, but it's not very accurate, which is the only problem. <laughs> Yo, this is working perfectly. Who said lasers in brain surgery weren't a good thing, huh? Look at this, it's just literally coming off and he's he's losing a little bit of blood, but it's nothing major. Oh no, 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 what just happened? Bob, Bob, why, why would you do this? Okay, I need to definitely just, oh my goodness, the laser is just, you know, just chilling. Stab, there we go, stab again, perfect. One mil a second, that's what I like to hear. The laser's just kind of floating around, guys. Can we just grab his brain parts? I just, I just want to grab this little bit here. There we go. I seem to have accidentally knocked out the... <laughs> oh, no. I've knocked out the support for his head, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. But you know what, Bob? You're in safe hands. It's going to be fine. I'm going to try all kinds of electronic tools. So I'm going to go for the uh, the circular saw next because bone is tough stuff. So if there's anything that can do it, it's something that's metal and spins very, very fast. Oh, no. His head's moving around. This is making it a much more difficult. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Actually... This is working fine. He's only losing a little bit of blood. This is absolutely fine. Uh, Bob, buddy, if you could just move your head back, that'd be fine. Thank you. <laughs> no, Bob, I said, I said move your head back. That's what I said. Bless him. He's going to wake up with a bruise on his face. He's going to have no idea where he got it from. So at least your worries, buddy. You're having brain surgery, okay? I think that's pretty much, you know, all of the brain parts gone. But, um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? How am I supposed to get his brain out when it's attached to a stalk? Look at this! Oh, it's so gross. So gross. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to do this, Bob? I don't think this is going to be very comfortable for him. I'm going to guess that we can use... I'm going to have to catch this. Huh! Look at that. I was born to be a surgeon. I need to cut your stalk, Bob. I'm going to have to try this very, very quickly. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's going to work somehow. It's going to work somehow, I promise you. Just cut it. Just cut it and it's fine. Did it work? Did it work? I don't think it did. He is dying very, very quickly. Quick, 
quick anesthetic. And let's just stab him. And again, perfect. 0% loss. But his brain is, um, his brain's not looking good, is it? At, at all. I'm not quite sure what to do here. I could just put the new brain in and see if everything's fine, but I, I don't think that's going to be acceptable for him. Um, this is awkward. This is very awkward. Actually, he's in a pretty good position for me to just cut that thing. Apparently a laser isn't going to work, but this, this is a scalpel. Oh, jeez, I just cut his brain. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I haven't got anything that's long enough to stick in there to cut it, apart from maybe this? If that's even what you need to do. Bob, I'd appreciate it if you could stay still, please, sir. There we go. Let's cut this. Cut it. Cut it. Oh! Oh, it worked! Quick, Bob, get that out of your face. That's perfect. Yes! He's losing blood, but I think I've done it. I think I've done it. I want the brain, please. No, I need the brain. Give me the brain. Give me the brain. Yes! Yes! This is working. Here we go. This is a medical marvel. Plop. I did it. I did it. Get in there. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know how I got a D. That makes me a bit mad. But I did it, guys. His brain might have been flopping in and out of his head for a little bit, but we performed brain surgery in four minutes. Almost five minutes, but... but <laughs> and we already killed him twice. Didn't we? Just, just twice? I think it was just twice. That's great news. I've just literally, uh, you know solved all of Bob's problems. The other option we have now, though, are the ambulance missions. So let's do this. We could do the heart transplant, which we've done before and was actually quite tricky, but in an ambulance, which I'm guessing is going to make it even more tricky. There's also the Team Fortress 2 edition. I don't know. I don't know which one to do. I, I really don't. I could do heart transplants on Bob again because he just didn't stop eating and he's full of cholesterol and we're inside an ambulance, so the added difficulty to this is that you're moving around and stuff while holding sharp objects, organs, blood, and all that. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is definitely a little bit crazy. Oh my goodness, what has happened? It, it, a hammer fell into his chest, that's awful. Right, if I remember correctly, we need this. Desperately, we always need the drill. Whoever's driving is an absolute lunatic. You're supposed to be driving an ambulance. Why is the fire extinguisher in his chest? Move it, move it, get out, get out. I probably shouldn't be drilling an extinguisher. I think they explode. But hey, that kind of helped with his ribs. So let's keep on drilling. I am a professional surgeon, so I will be able to do this. It'll be absolutely fine. Don't even worry about it, Bob. We've got you for the second time. you got to buy one, get one free on your heart transplant. And I am going <laughs> to... Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Everything is flying into his head. And the back doors are open. This could end really badly. Right, the drill is done. I need the anesthetic. Can anyone see the anesthetic? I, um... I'm not seeing it anywhere. There's a glass beaker inside Bob's chest. So I'm going to have to grab that out, aren't I? There we go. Let's remove that bob. And hopefully the fire extinguisher doesn't stay in your chest. <laughs> what did I say? Glass beakers, no. Hmm. I think I need... Uh, I think I need a scalpel. If this could just go away, please. Thank you. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, can't actually remember what i got to do now. Oh, I need to pull the lungs out. I haven't got any anesthetic. That's what saved me before. Get this implement out of Bob's chest. Yes, I've got a lung. I've got a lung. There we go. That can go out the window. We don't need that. Oh, no. The drill is inside. What is it doing? It's inside Bob's lung. And it's disconnected at the end. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, how do I get this out? <laughs> I'm just going to have to hit it. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because it's making my job so much harder. Oh my goodness, this is chaotic. I did not think this would be the life of someone working in an ambulance. Bob is done for. He's dead. Come on, give me the lung. Give me the lung. There we go. Get out. Get out to the road. <laughs> That's amazing. Bob, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going hands free. You're gonna die. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was manic. Right, we need to harness the ambulance. Let's try again. Why is it so hard to get this stupid piece of cloth off of his body? Here comes a fire extinguisher. Can I use this to bash in his rib cage? I've got it. I've got it. Let's see what happens. Smash it. Smash it. Smash up all the ribs. It actually does not work, so I'm going to throw that out the window. Go on, get out. Get out. You're causing too much trouble. Leave. There we go. That's one way to do it. Okay, the drill did cause me problems last time, but it's actually a pretty good tool. So let's see if we can do this properly this time. Bob, you're in good hands. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Stuff is flying around. There is a hammer in his chest cavity. But as long as the ambulance doesn't move, we should be fine. Okay, the ambulance is definitely moving. Oh my goodness. This is mad. This is actually mad. All the damage is being 
being caused by the um, items just flying around. We're going over speed bumps, round corners. We just need to make it to the hospital in time so they can fix you after I've made a mess. Okay, guys, I think we're ready. That needs to go. The, the drill needs to go. I might need it again, but I'm just going to throw it out the window because I don't need it. <laughs> I do need myself that. I need that right now. I need to not put my hands on it. There we go. Yes. Yes. I need to put this in your face, Bob. Just real quick in your face. And stab. There we go. And one more. And one more. Perfect. He's stable, guys. And this is through my... Oh, jeez. Really? This is going to make it a lot harder now, isn't it? I think the cure is here. Is this the cure? I need the cure. Yeah. There we go. Right. Mr. Lung, you're going to need to come out, please, buddy. Let's grab that. Grab it. Grab it! Bam! Out the door you go. Well, I tried. Next time the door's open, that will disappear. Let's grab the next lung. But, but there we go. And out the door you go. <laughs> kind of worked. Now we need a scalpel, and then we're done here. Right, we definitely don't need this. So this can definitely go out the window. I still miss the window. Look how big the opening is. Fear not, Bob. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, buddy. Oh, the beaker is in my way. How does this happen, guys? I mean, the driver is a maniac. That's how it's happening. But I just need to cut this last little bit. I mean, we could use the laser again. That could be pretty funky. Let's see. Is it turned on? It is. Okay, slice and dice this pink chew, please. Something just turned it off, didn't it? It's the beaker. The beaker just turned it off. Turn the laser back on. Okay, the laser's not happening. That's gonna have to go as well. This is terrible. Yeah, I got it. I got it, and I think I just dropped something inside his stomach. Oh, no, right. Okay, so whatever was in there is now gone. I now need to disconnect the heart, which should be easy. Oh, the finesse on this is beautiful. All right, let's cut this out. There we go. Let's cut that one. Let's cut this one, and the heart is free. It's probably... <laughs> It's just bouncing around like crazy. Oh my goodness, right. Let's just put the new one in. The laser's bouncing around. The new one just needs to plop in the chest. And let's see if this works. Come on. What's better than one heart? Two hearts inside the same body. It doesn't matter if both of them don't work as well as they should be. If they work as a team, it should be. <laughs> it should be enough to keep you alive. Yeah! Yeah, not sure that's how that, no, they're definitely not fixed in, is it? That's not a complete surgery, but if it's, it's good enough for my boss, it's good enough for the ambulance people, and it's good enough for me, it's definitely not good enough for Bob, bless him. Look at them, they're just going crazy in there. <laughs> so we can also do the kidney transplant, and I'm guessing the brain transplant inside the, uh, the ambulance, but I think I'm best suited to the traditional surgery because... That was chaotic. So I think this is where the journey between me and Bob ends. I know. I'm sad too. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. I'm sure there's more things you can do in Surgeon Simulator. If there are and you'd like to see some more or something specific, then leave your comments in the comment section down below. Apart from that, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up would be great as usual. And if thumbs be the first video you see by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily videos. Apart from that, guys, have an amazing day. You're awesome. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah,